So when it comes down to buying the right windscreen for your motorcycle, it comes down to style and comfortability. Now we're gonna take a look at two different versions by Clockworks today, and one is gonna be the 12 inch Pro Touring model, which I've been running on this bike for three years. And the other one is going to be the 11 inch Sport Flare, which has a little bit different look. And so up to you, it is subjective. You can find out which one, but we're gonna take a look at everything. Full disclosure, Clockworks did send me the 11 inch Sport Flare so that I could compare the two and give you guys an honest and updated review. Just to let you know, I am six foot three. So that kind of gives you the apples to apples depending on your height. This is gonna be a comprehensive review of both of those models. So you can see exactly what the flare looks like on the bike while riding outside the bike, taking photography, it's going to be an all around encompassing review of this so that you know exactly which version to get. Now throughout this video, what I plan on doing is you'll be able to see which model I am showing so you can better assess what's going to be right for you. Even when I'm showing photography, I'm going to make sure that you know which version I'm showing, whether it is the 12 inch Pro or the 11 inch Sport. Both these models are going to be listed in the description below so you can check them out. So let's dive in to both models so that you can see which one's going to be best for you. So the version of the Clockworks windscreen that I've been running for the last three years has been the 12 inch Pro Touring. This has been a fantastic windscreen giving me just maximum protection when I'm out on the road, especially on those longer road trips. It's been absolutely amazing. This thing and I, we've been through hailstorms and snowstorms and tornadoes and you name it. It's it's been through a lot, held up extremely well, uh, no problems whatsoever, and it's really just, it's designed for that longer road trip. So the Pro Touring is something that I bought with my own money. Me being 6'3", I wanted to make sure that I got something at the time. There was only the 9-inch Sport Flare or the 12-inch uh, Pro Touring. I did try and order the 9-inch Sport Flare. However, the 9-inch was just giving me too much buffeting and uh, the wind was just really strong. So I ended up going with the Pro Touring. But Clockworks has now come out with the 11-inch Sport Flare and that's what we're comparing today. But the 12-inch Pro, as you can see, uh, it's a little flatter on the outsides here, gives you a little bit more protection in the hand area and it actually pushes out here a little bit um, versus kind of tucked in in that more sleek look that the Sport Flare is, which we'll take a look in just a second. This is really an unbelievable design for those that wanna go traveling long distances and like just more of a uh, less sporty look. It just kind of sleeks well with the bike. It absolutely photographs well. As you guys can see here, I'll throw a couple photos up of this bike with this 12 inch Pro Touring. So the added benefit, just a little bit more protection here for your hands so that that wind pushes it out of the way. And we'll take a look and deep dive in. So now let's go ahead and show you what this bike looks like from the cockpit when you're riding down the road. As you can see here, uh, you have no obstructions from your view. It does sit 12 inches high, but even with the dark smoke, you're able to see that roadway clearly, uh, getting that maximum protection from that wind um, really just pushes it. I feel it pretty much at the tip, tip top of my helmet when I have the 12 inch Pro Touring on, no buffeting whatsoever. Like I said, I'm 6'3", I have the extended reach seat. So if you don't have the extended reach seat, it's just gonna give you that much more of a protection because I do believe uh, if you were to move your head just a couple inches uh, closer to that windscreen, that wind just goes, passes up and over. So you can see here, this is just a really good feel. It's a good look, even with the dark smoke, there is no obstructions whatsoever. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this 11 inch Sport Flare. Obviously, you can see a little bit different of a design here. Uh, it's got a more of an aggressive look, uh, if that's what you're going for. And we're talking about the, the difference in one inch. But the important thing that I want you to know is there's a little bit more of an aggressive tilt here as well, which deflects that wind. For me, when I've been riding this bike, even at highway speeds, uh, 80 miles an hour, I am not noticing that big of a difference. It is slight, but not enough to say that I'm getting too much wind resistance or wind buffeting. This probably has an even bigger protection pocket from the wind if you were two inches closer. I will tell you, I feel it just a little bit here, but it's not enough to cause that wind buffeting. Some might want to know about full turnability, and with this sport flare it does come back a little bit more than the pro touring the pro touring sits a little bit more forward but i have zero problems these are 14 inch ape hangers full lock i have no problem whatsoever uh, when it comes to turning this motorcycle it's not rubbing up against this fairing at all the other thing that you want to take note of is the 
sport flare dips in a little bit more in this section here. Um, it gives your hands a little less protection, especially if you're running those 14 inch apes like I am, but it does allow that wind to kind of compress and then deflect out. That is probably why I'm enjoying this flare so much, even at freeway speeds, is just its ergonomics and the design to deflect that wind is making it definitely manageable. So you want to appreciate that look of the motorcycle, especially when it comes to photography. Now, I do believe that the 11 inch Sport gives this a completely different look, and we're gonna look at some side-by-side -side comparisons as we take some photos of the bike. You'll get a chance to see what it looks like with the Pro Touring and then with the Sport model. It's subjective. It's up to you on which one you like to go with. Uh, for me, I'm just really digging this Sport style flair. So let's take a look at what the 11 inch Sport looks like when you're riding down the road when you're in the cockpit. So this would just give you a point of view look at what it's like to ride this motorcycle or road glide with the 11 inch Sport. While riding this bike, there's really good vision. You can see the roadway entirely. There is no obstruction. I think it's an awesome look uh, from the cockpit view. It just makes you feel like you're more on a sport bike. And you can see here with the 11 inch Sport Flare, just how sleek this looks and gives the bike a, a different stance. So in closing, my thoughts are this. The Pro Touring was an amazing windscreen. I thoroughly enjoyed it, especially for those long road trips across the country. I'm gonna have no problem, I believe, no problem whatsoever running this Sport Flare. For me personally, I think I like the more aggressive look. I like the more aggressive fin here and I just think it just makes the bike look a little bit different. And you guys can let me know in the comments which version you enjoy when it comes down to the Clockworks on the Road Glide uh, compared to those photos. If you guys are looking for a little bit of motivation, you can check out this video right here. That's our latest documentary where I did over 5,000 miles on that bike with that windshield right there. Uh, it's a cinematic adventure film, folks. Until next time, you guys ride safe, you be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.